Anyone familiar with Star Wars knows of the most well-known clone trooper command, Order 66. This command was issued by Chancellor Palpatine to have the clone troopers finish off what remained of the Jedi after the brutal Clone Wars. What many don't know is that there was a far more sinister order that was so revolting that there is only one known use of it that was issued in secret so the public would never learn of its use. The clone troopers, which were designed and created on Kamino, were encoded with a total of 150 orders that when issued by the proper authority, they were programmed to follow without question. Only a handful of these 150 orders have ever been used in Star Wars canon, with Order 66 the most famous, but it was the use of Order 37 a year later that was so revolting that it caused the Empire to shut down all holonet communication for a brief time to prevent the galaxy from knowing it had been used. Issuing Order 37 would cause the clone troopers to begin to round up large amounts of civilian hostages and place them under arrest. The troopers would also suppress any coverage of these arrests by journalists and were instructed to scramble holonet feeds in the towns or whole planets that Order 37 was issued. The intention of Order 37 was to use the civilians as hostages to force the surrender of a fugitive that had escaped the Republic or later the Empire. While the Order doesn't explicitly say it's to get a Jedi fugitive to surrender, that seems to be why it was created, and the Emperor knew that if the troopers rounded up hundreds or thousands of civilians and planned to execute them unless the Jedi turned themselves in, the Jedi would almost certainly surrender to prevent so many innocent lives from being murdered. The one use of Order 37 happened in the book The Last of the Jedi, The Desperate Mission. In this book, which takes place a year after Return of the Sith, Obi-Wan Kenobi, living in exile on Tatooine, visits the local cantina and hears that a former Jedi Padawan named Ferris Olin is being hunted on the planet Balassa. Ferris had been friends with Anakin when they were both Padawans, but Ferris left the Jedi Order after an accident that ended up in a fellow Padawan dying while on a mission. Leaving the Order allowed Ferris to escape Order 66, but ultimately due to his Force sensitivity, he was still a target of the Empire. Kenobi traveled to Balassus to help Ferris, and it was on this planet that an Inquisitor known as Malorum issued Order 37 to the clone troopers in the planet city capital to round up the civilians for execution in an attempt to coax Ferris out of hiding. This plan ultimately worked, with Ferris surrendering to prevent the execution of the civilians. However, the planet had suspected rebellion ties, which caused Inquisitor Malorum to execute the civilians anyway. Following this event, Ferris was able to escape, but Inquisitor Malorum did not want news of Order 37's use to get out, and issued the following commands to clone troopers to hide evidence of the massacre. It is imperative that bodies not be released to family members. All holonet communication must be shut down that morning, and calm silence maintained for the next month so Compnor can control information outflow. No accounts to be disseminated as they can prove detrimental to imperial control of surrounding systems. Proof of body disposal documented for Inquisitor Malorum to pass the LDV. The rest of the galaxy never learned of the mass execution of the civilians on Balassa, with the Empire claiming those who died were killed by terrorists trying to overthrow the new Empire. Order 37 was such a deplorable act, even the Emperor knew that its use had to be kept secret from the public. When Order 66 was used, he claimed the Jedi had turned their backs on the Republic, and that's why they had to be wiped out, but issuing Order 37 to commit mass killings of civilians was just too much for most people to accept, and was kept a secret that only the Emperor and his innermost circle ever knew even existed. It's possible that Order 37 was used more than once, but considering it was always used in secret, we may never know just how many civilians died at the hands of clone troopers following this order. With that being said, do you believe Order 37 was worse than the more well-known Order 66? Or was the killing of the Jedi a worse crime than that of Order 37? Let me know in the comments below.